morning. This is a tour of the Airbnb. Don't worry, that's just my area where I fell asleep. I didn't even make it up the stairs, y'all. Hot mess, right? I think it's really pretty. It's a lot of attention to detail. That's Talia. It's very big upstairs. So I think this is a two bedroom, two and a half bath. This is the half downstairs. That is the kitchen area or dining room area. This is the kitchen. Very nice place. That's a sitting area. This is outside to the patio, but I can't go out there right now. Let me see. The patio area. Can't believe it, it's raining. Okay, let's go upstairs. It's really cute from curbside too. It looks like a brownstone. If y'all hear me uh, ooh and an iron and about to pass out on the way up the stairs, don't judge me. Y'all know I got injuries. Let me grab this real quick before I break my damn neck. Really cute art. That is the master. And I gave it to our college student. And this is where the washer and dryer is, which is especially great during COVID. So we can wash our clothes before we put them in our luggage to go back. This is the second bedroom, and that's the closet. Yes, I already got my makeup and stuff set up. That's the bed. And that's the wall when you come in. And then, this is the bathroom. Let me cut on the light and get out the mirror because I'm still in my pajamas. Don't judge me. That is the bathroom. Very nice. I'm not sure why the scrubber is still there. Anyone? Bueller? Anyone? Me either. The vents are in the floor here. I find that to be very interesting. See, I didn't sleep in the bed. I hadn't slept for a couple of days. I was exhausted. Let me see if I can pull this up. And I can. Oh my gosh. Like it started raining maybe two seconds ago. Okay, not two seconds. How long are we on this video? Two minutes? Maybe four minutes? And that's it already. Oh, that's me. Move out of the way, girlfriend. That's all the stuff that I travel with to do my makeup. Yeah, brown babies in the shower. So this is her room. And she slept in her bed. And then the bathroom is over there. You can't see the bathroom. She's in it, okay? Don't be nosy. And now I need to... Let me go back downstairs. I do not. I need to jump in the shower and... Get her. Hi, brown baby. Oh, <laughs> Me too. I need to get in the shower, but did you see? Oh, it's raining. <laughs> and I heard something blow up. I thought that's brown, baby. Oh my gosh. No, <laughs> <laughs> no that's, that was the thunder. And yes, I got catfish at the house. <laughs> I think so. I don't know how I feel about this state. That one we saw in the menu when we was picking on. Oh, Lord. Hold on. 
It would have been game. This is what this I'm giving. <laughs> Y'all look. I don't even eat dessert. <laughs> Guess who's eating this stuff? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna take it because it's raining outside. And when we get back, I'm gonna Netflix and chill with myself. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, look, that looks like a halo over my head. <laughs> oh, the good life. I'm an angel. It's nice. There's not a lot of people in here. I actually think. I know we came to this, so we picked a, a southern, like, Cajun restaurant, but my spirit is telling me I want a salad and some fish. <laughs> so that was good. I just some last night. Hmm? How'd you like the mac and cheese from last night? I did. You did? I liked it, but I ate, like, two or three half bites. It was, um, sharp. Mine was salty. <laughs> okay, so I was like, they did, did they use a sharp cheese? But I started to mix it with the greens. Oh, okay. So then it like toned down. Because the greens was sugar in it. Yeah, when he was eating it, I was like, this is not salty too? <laughs> he was like, no. I was like, this is salty. Yeah, I don't really use salt when I cook. I don't use salt at all. Like garlic salt, that's it. And I was like, maybe it's just a Georgia thing. Cause I think they, they're heavy like, with This is salt. very, very good. And they use a lot of seasoning with salt in mm -hmm. it too. They use seasoning salt, salt, mm -hmm. accent, mm -hmm. garlic salt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, I think I'm gonna have the fried catfish. And what size does it come with? What size? Only size of the Can I get a salad? I don't like the Caesar salad. Yeah, I want the Caesar salad. Yeah. You want to keep the Yes. Okay. <laughs> I think I want, or not I think I want, can you bring us jambalaya also? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that's what we're doing. Thank you. Thank you. Do you like the I have some in um, New Orleans. The beignet? Yeah. Oh, you went everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I had it in um, New Orleans and they was really good. I like them when they're hot. Right I have the Disneyland the ones. Those are good too. Because mm -hmm. they taste just like it. That's how they taste good. So mm -hmm. My whole soul and my whole bean. I cannot wait to eat that. I know that that's going to be so good. They should have took this and put it on top of the cheesecake. That would have been good. I don't like, like, mm, like oh they no. did this. Like they put the red velvet mm -hmm. on top of it. This Y'all, this good. dessert menu. It's pretty nice. This. I was gonna say this. I don't like bread pudding. Me either. I, I they can't. do. They did it. Y'all explain it. Yeah, it's looking pretty, but I'm not putting that in my mouth because mm -hmm. I know that they don't like it. This looks really pretty though. It almost told me and then I read the bottom. Yeah, I think. I think that they should just start doing like banana pudding. And really start with this bread pudding. <laughs> <laughs> Do you eat chocolate? I don't really eat okay. chocolate. Um, I have to be like really, like this would have to have some vanilla in there to break it up. Mm. Oh wow. Um, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't eat chocolate either. I don't eat chocolate. Um, carrot cake once every four years. I like Oreo. I like oh, Oreo. That looks good. But I would eat like one, two bites and I would start pulling that out. <laughs> <laughs> I would start taking the Oreo. I would start taking the Oreo out. It's too much. Just like I would get this red velvet cheesecake. And just eat the top. <laughs> uh-uh. I would start pulling that stuff out. Oh really? Mm-hmm. It's too sweet. 
I don't really eat sweet stuff like that. Because if it's I don't too eat sweet, cake. it starts to make me sick. Oh, okay. I, like, I eat candy, but I don't eat cake. Like, I'm more of a cookie stuff person. Fresh baked cookies. Mm -hmm. Cajun margarita. I'm not eating nothing with how drinking nothing with how <laughs> You could just hang that up. Mm -hmm. Bloody Maria instead of Bloody Mary. That's cool. It's here, okay. hmm. She don't need to be looking at no menu for yeah. drinks. <laughs> so what's wrong with those <laughs> It is so hot. It's done raining already. It just stopped raining. Yeah, it stopped already. Mm-hmm. There's nobody to used to the weather. It's, um, quiet. There's a lot of people out, but it's not, uh, a lot of people in one area. Mm -hmm. So they have a lot of chairs and nobody in them. Because I think you can only be filled to a certain capacity. There is so many places to go out here too that people are a lot more spread out. Mm -hmm. I walk in with a group of black people. So all the work is a dress. Mm -hmm. You see that a lot out here. Mostly every area. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Like watching a better woman. <laughs> Not very human at all. <laughs> We're going to have a lot of eating places like what we don't have at home. We have more commercial places. Mm -hmm. LA area and in, in the Empire. We're starting to get more small businesses, but then COVID happened. Somebody talk to me and tell me I need another potato. Synthetic hair a la mode. Jambalaya is really good. I don't like it when my jambalaya is floating. It has a lot of sauce that doesn't hurt it. I don't care about food. Oh, wow. Can I have a minute? Mm. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're gonna go to that church. <laughs> <laughs> I told you to keep that hair down on your head. You're gonna go back there and tell everybody to help. Because mm -hmm. I, what was the catfish, like filet? Mm -hmm. I can take the whole catfish and just slice it in half without waste it. But, I was going to eat it, but my spirit was. I will miss you. Because it kept coming, the more I kept pulling it. 
I was under the bed. about starting college? Scared. Scared? Why? Uh, at first, I wasn't scared. But now, why are you scared? I don't know. A lot of people get to part? college and say, I don't want to get to college and say, which one is? <laughs> you have to be scared. Gonna, you might fail a test. You might fail a class. So it happens. It is like money, like actual money. So I really don't want to get caught in the Well, then don't. Let that be your driver. Mm -hmm. You're right. Every class you take over, it's $2,500 or $4,000. Not just the time itself, mm -hmm. but yeah. It's not really scared me. But I'm excited at the same time. Mm -hmm. What was your back in high school? Asian dudes. Gonna ride and That's cool. Mm -hmm. Probably easy to do. What is it about? You think you're gonna fail the class? You think you're not gonna be disciplined? No, I feel like I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm not a people person, but I like to have fun. I feel like, you know, with me pledging and all that, like, I can get easily distracted. So you so do want to go out? Of that, too. Because I don't want to, you know, Go out and like, be the stereotype on me. Like, they're probably from fun. But, you know, so. Well, if you are interested in a sorority mm -hmm. and being a part of that life, failure is not an option. Yeah. Education is one of our biggest things. Mm -hmm. So, that's not an option, Chips <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, that's a good thing about. I wish I would have had the experience to become a Delta in um, in college because not that it's just like anything else. You have you have your people that you build your relationship with. That's something that can it can help you if you get around the right people. Yeah. They'll help you even having you know for people that are mm -hmm. Delta in college when they have older stories that are seniors and stuff like that. You never want to limit your your groups around the same people that are the same age as you. Yeah. Because the older ones have wisdom mm -hmm. and they already been there, done that. Um, not to say everything that they have to say is gold either, but they, they're a little bit, mm -hmm. they can tell you what's right there. First of all, y'all know I don't eat that much, so <laughs> I can like sample stuff. Yeah, I spend all this money on food and then I sample stuff. <laughs> So I know movie stuff like a week. But back to the time. Um, it's good to have a variety of people around a variety of cultures. Mm -hmm. That's really important too, because there are experiences that everybody has that they can bring to the table. And then it really strengthens what you're doing. Yeah, yeah they just have to redo my fish. Okay. It had half of somebody's wig in it. <laughs> Girl, right under the batter. I was okay. Home. It's okay. <laughs> I have no sense. Yeah, it, <laughs> it was a lot to me. I am going to take this out of home. I am going to eat this. Now, I'm going to eat for the rest of the day. And it's like, what? Almost five? Take it. It's like, five? Yeah, time is fast out here. It moves fast when you we woke up. We woke up at three. <laughs> so, right. I mean, we left the house at three. <laughs> it's because, you know, we're from California and now we're out here mm -hmm. and they didn't stop their clock for us. As, mm -hmm. as amazing as we are, time didn't stop. For Basically, us. it's really two o'clock. Right. 
Coming. You're gonna live on campus, right? Yeah, for my first year. That's another good thing. Good, huh? This season is up. Mm-hmm. This season is up. This season is up. Why y'all was talking about <laughs> <laughs> We season our food, right? So my family's in the country. We season our food, but out here we had this place last night, and it was so good. So we could taste the salt because we don't really use salt. So that's why she laughing like, so they season the salad too. Yeah, they season everything. Well, this is good. This um, jambalaya, they should have gave me some rice with my meat. <laughs> They make sure you got your protein out here, baby. Yeah. You paying for what? You paying for what? Mm-hmm. It's really good. Make sure the gym pay for it. That was the okay. amplified version. I don't want that. Take that back. I just want the way I could work.
And a lot of times when you move back home, you get stuck back mm-hmm. in that everyday life. That's the thing. You I'm, get homesick. I'm not. Uh, I would never be more than one suitcase back to California. Because I'm going to see somebody and I'm going to be like, oh, I miss it. Yeah. It's easy to get homesick. Um, I agree. It's easy to get homesick. And then you get, like you said, especially if you went away to college. Then when you come back, mm-hmm. you get to do all this familiar stuff. You know, different, especially if you got a job and make nice money. Because mm-hmm. then you get to do all this stuff you didn't get to do before. Yeah. And I think I'm going to go to school and work in that school day. So, and I won't get to I feel like I could be decent. Decent enough. I'm not really going to have time to come home. Yeah. I said I was like, I don't know. I'm going to come home. For the, like the, the spring break and stuff, I'm not going to come home. Christmas and Thanksgiving, then I'm going to come home. That's what you're saying now. I'm serious. I don't want to waste money going flights just to stay three days. <laughs> Your mama's going to make you come back home. I don't see I it. I thought she can visit me. That may be her. She can visit me. I don't know what she's going to say. Until I get on apartment after first year, but she can visit me. Maybe a hotel. Airbnb. She's like a she's like a family trip. Yeah. That's a that's a I know Zion C. He ain't here. ready. Yeah. I, I'm not ready. He's gonna come visit you. I mean that's when everybody's gonna be knowing your name. I'm not ready. Because outgoing siblings will come and tear up a college campus. And I was like, please. But both of us together, that's that's really my other smart to have. It is. Yeah. Are you gonna miss him a lot when you come out here? To go to um yes and no. Zion's really good to me. Really, 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 really good to me. But I feel like now like since we had his experience, like I've been like really protective. Like when you listen to me, uh the day I left, uh-huh. he it was his first day of high school. Mm. He cried like a baby. <laughs> so he did go back to it. Yeah. And that's another thing. I don't want like something to happen when I'm very far away. Can't think like that. That's another that's thing. That's what kept me at home. It's scary. Yeah. But you have to remind yourself, even if he was there, you still have You're not a doctor. Yeah. So it's not like you can go perform surgery yeah. or, you know, if it's a fire, you can put the fire out. It's nothing you can do. When it didn't happen, I was actually supposed to be in Alabama already. Mm. I would have lost my mind if I was in Alabama. That's when you have to remember that God don't yeah. need no help. He got it. And you'll get there. And I knew that. Uh, even when it happened, I was still in high school. And I was just sitting there. Yeah, I was he seemed like everybody, it seemed like everybody else was more upset. I was crying for days. About his son. <laughs> I was crying for days. It was more of what I felt responsible because I was right there when it happened. What? So what happened? So we were going to me and Wait, do you care about sharing it on here? No, you're fine. You're fine. We're going to see well, everybody on Facebook that knows that. Okay. So um, we were going to get the burrito in July 2nd. Mm-hmm. Yeah. July 2nd. So it's been a month. July 2nd. And we had a, a fireworks. But the fire that you had, you're not supposed to light in my hand. You're supposed mm. to put it in the tube. Okay. So we were walking back. He's like, I'm going to light it. I'm going to light it. You know, boys. I'm going to light it. I'm going to light it. I'm like, don't light it. He lit it. And it happened so quick. Lit it. He started throwing, but it blew up in his hand. So he dropped to the floor and, like, popped back up. I thought, we both, I thought, I was like, I didn't know what happened. I thought he was dead. So he, like, he dropped to the floor, popped back up, and ran across the street. And the type of fire was, was like, he could have blew his face off or anything. Yeah. So, and then that goes back to God, you know. So, um, he ran across the street. He was like, I need help, I need help. And I was jokester. So, we was like, I'm going to stop doing it. Our cousin took oh, a flash. Oh, because he popped back yeah, up. Yeah, I took a flash right off his arm. Oh, all this. And I was like, oh. <laughs> this is a broke down. <laughs> <laughs> and they didn't find them. Um, no. But luckily, we thought his whole thumb was on. It's really only this part. Oh. Yeah, so he still has all this. So, they're gonna do so they just need to get this part. They just want to extend it. Yeah. 
and then just the well, not the just, but that's still yeah. amazing. You still have a grip because and you have this. He's right hand. Oh, and it happened on his yeah. ninth dominant hand. Yeah. So. You got it. No wonder. Shooting. 